Up next, we're going to my friend's house for some diamond inspiration. We're visiting with jewelry designer Sherry Shabani, and she's going to share with us her story and offer some fashionable accessory tips. Take a look. Now, do you do um, a lot of, as far as like with your jewelry design, do you create here in your home at all, or is that normally somewhere else? Um, it's anywhere I am and the inspiration comes. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes I'll be actually sitting outside. Outside. And kind of doing it there. In the formal areas, probably where I get a lot of my inspiration. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's where whenever it comes to me, however it comes to me. It's me. Yeah. All right. Anywhere else you want to show, share, us, uh, share with us? Um, I think a huge piece in this room is that piano because my daughter's a pianist and um, that's where a lot of magic happens with her. Oh really? Yeah. So there's yeah. more creative people in your family? Yes. Besides yeah, you. She definitely has the creative gene. <laughs> so yeah, so that's a really integral part of the room. Um, and all the furniture I designed myself, so that's kind of fun. That's what I was going to ask. Where, how did this all come about? Um, this all came about just organically the biggest kind of piece that I designed was this table no way it's a rock crystal table and all those rock crystals were embedded into this one piece and then they created it so it's all kind of put together that is absolutely gorgeous it wow. took about a year to make. how long ago did you make this this is about three years old wow yeah even down to the sofas and the, the little sofas, chairs? all of the shape, the pillows, even the little bows on the bottom. Jeez. A little bit of a glitz in this one, yeah. so it shimmers. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so there's a little bit of me and all of it. Sherry, your house is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. This is, I probably would sleep really well out here. <laughs> You're more, more than welcome to come and stay. <laughs> I, I was eyeing the pool back there too, so. <laughs> Sunbathe, we do it all here. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you know, I, I'm curious about your story and what is the moment for you that got you inspired into getting into jewelry designing? It kind of happened very organically. My father's a diamond manufacturer, so I've been around diamonds and jewelry all my life. Didn't really ever think I'd become a jewelry designer as I got accepted to law school and thought mm -hmm. I was going to be an attorney forever. So that, Crazy. yeah, very different path. But um, about seven, eight, no, now it's ten years ago. Ten years ago. Ten years ago, I started just fidgeting and trying to make a piece of jewelry for myself by hand. And mm -hmm. then got inspired because I loved fashion and it kind of just organically unfolded. That's great. Now, I'm, I'm curious also to know about um, what is your inspiration when you're coming up with your designs for your jewelry collections? Um, a lot of times it'll be my children who inspire me with different ideas they have because they're both very involved and interested in what I do. So mm -hmm. a lot of the times they'll bring me some ideas and often I'll just pick about pick from whatever style kind of vibe is going on in the moment mm -hmm. and build on that in my own way. That's great. Now, we have a couple pieces here. Can we you share do. with us some of, of the course. pieces that you've designed? Well, speaking of my children, <laughs> this one. <laughs> this one was co-designed with my son. Um, he loved Lynx, and he always wanted me to do something with Lynx because it was masculine. So we came up with doing a oxidized silver and diamond link bracelet. That's beautiful. Thank you. Now as any as a fashion tip, would this go with a lot of different 
This goes with Wardrobes. a lot. This is a great stacking bracelet. So as you can see, I yeah. have a little stacking problem going on here. <laughs> so, but that's you, a style, right? Th this is. This is. I wouldn't have it any other way. But yeah, this you kind of throw it in and you don't think about it. You yeah. just do it, basically, and that works best. So yeah, you just, you know, for example, I add this on. Now you have a few other pieces here that you've created. I, I'm I assuming you have a variation of collections. I do. There's right. a few different genres, so to speak, of the collection. Um, this goes along with this new piece that I've curated. Um, it's stingray mm. with a hematite and diamonds. That's beautiful. So that's, I think that might go with I my think, outfit. I actually think it does. <laughs> do not. <laughs> not at all. There you have it. Oh, that's, that's easy awesome. to wear. Yeah. And it's like a little statement piece, not too much, but just enough. The stingray is a little bit of a new kind of texture. And this is beautiful. So it's fun. Now, Thank you. Now, can you tell me, have you designed for any celebrities or any of your friends? Can you talk I about I have, I have. Obviously living in the mecca of celebrityhood. Yeah. <laughs> um, Vanessa Williams is a dear friend and also a friend who's been wearing my jewelry for many, many years and um, who I love. Yeah. Um, we've had Heidi Klum, who's also worn it, Reese Witherspoon, so it's been, there's been a few. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And then friends and family, I'm assuming, also. Of course. Probably kind of uh, raid your wardrobe and your, your jewelry. Yeah, I have a lot of cases. people borrowing, <laughs> <laughs> which I love because it's gonna, a form of flattery. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, I'm adding myself to Absolutely. that list. Absolutely. When you come and stay over and you're <laughs> poolside, I'll bring you your jewelry. <laughs> Perfect. I love it already. Um, oh, this is beautiful. This is another piece as well. It's a blue sapphire and white diamond on oxidized silver. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely You should try that. I think it'll go with kind of your look today. Yeah, and I, I do. Yes, yeah. I do. How you marry me? The ring. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. I love Thank this. you. Now, as far as finding something unique, what is, what are some unique pieces that we can look forward to in your collection? Well, coming for spring, there's going to be a lot of color um, involved, a lot of semi-precious stones, um, kind of big stones, but with a delicate uh, trimming, kind of like this one that I have here, mm -hmm. where they're larger colored stones, but the diamonds are very delicate and kind it's of simple. Beautiful. So it still pops, but... Fun. And then you come up with stuff like this, this ring, and then even the ring that you have on is gorgeous. Yeah, and this also, yours? thank you, yes, this goes with this new kind of lighter look. Um, and yeah, it's a little fluid ring. That's beautiful. Thank you. Love that. Thank you. Now, can you tell me a little bit about what makes your collection so unique? Is that it's something that, kind of the style that I like, which is classic and timeless, but definitely putting a little bit of that trend into it so it has a younger fresh vibe right. so i want all my pieces to be able to be worn forever and not just a limited time so i think that's kind of yeah my my take on it love it okay and now who is your hero i'm um, a hero is by far my father really mm -hmm. interesting yeah he's pr probably the person that's kind of gotten to where he's gotten you to where you're at correct? he is i mean just from being a parent and such a support um, and teaching me how to just be and enjoy life and not take things for granted. Yeah. Is, yeah. Well, we look forward to looking at your shop. Thank you. In Los Angeles. Where is the shop, by the way? Um, it's in downtown LA in the Jewelry District okay. on 550 South Hill Street. All right. Perfect. Well, thank you. Let's finish our thank glass you. of wine. Thank you. I'll meet you by the pool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>